guys Richard here I know a lot of you have been asking where the heck am I but I'm gonna do a video talking about that here soon it's just been it's just been crazy but speaking of crazy I had this crazy I've been Zyphos that I just got in a trade um, it has some damage in a very unique area and since I haven't been able to do a lot of videos I thought I would talk about it and show you what we're gonna do to kind of kind of fix it so it's in the neck pocket a couple of these screw holes are a little bit stripped out so we'll have to fill those in with something but that's a little bit easy you guys have seen that before but here's the real the real thing going on here it's got this crack okay but that is not the extent of it let's see if we can get in there that's not the extent of it this crack goes all the way inside right here you can kind of see it goes under there and I've been looking at it, trying to determine exactly how far it goes. And it looks like it goes from here to about right here, right there. And then I'm not sure if it's cracked here or not. But then there's one here, which I'll get a better shot of, that cracks all the way up by this uh, pickup. That's cracked all the way through. And I think, I think this goes to here, but that may just be the paint. So my guess is this guitar was dropped and somebody at some point, it looks like, tried to do some home routing. This is very, very rough. So I may fill that in and put a patch of like uh, wood over this whole section and to smooth it back down just to make sure we get you know the the neck fitting tight and get the sustain we're supposed to get you know between the wood and body and neck connection so let me take this out and we'll get a better look at this crack and yeah we'll see what we can do all right so with the pickup out the way you can see this crack a little better see that you can see that it goes all the way through watch as I move this piece of wood there so we're going to try to get some glue in there. Now I've determined that this crack is one of those situations where to fix it right, I would have to make it worse first. Um, I would have to try to wedge something in there and literally break that apart far enough to get a good amount of glue in there, glue it back together. And of course that would ruin the paint in this section. It's actually got a pretty nice sparkly black paint to uh, be able to fix this properly. So I'm not going to worry about fixing this properly as far as making it 100% invisible and you know structurally completely sound because I think this is just going to be one of my guitars. And if I were to ever sell it, I would disclose whatever everything going on with it before I did so. Um, but I am going to try to stabilize it and that's going to start with drilling some holes. So I have a very small drill bit and along the crack I'm going to drill a couple really short holes. You know, I think this was dropped, but at the same time, I think that was a stress in the wood. It's part of the reason when you build a guitar you're supposed to let your wood dry because there can be internal stresses of just where that wood is naturally going to crack at some point and a big enough shock will cause that to happen. I think that's what that was because that is such a tight crack. But what I want to do is create some holes. I'm getting a little bit deeper as I go in because I don't know how deep this crack goes and I'm going to inject some glue in there just to see if we can help keep it together. 
The goal, of course, being to get the glue in there and to spread out into the hole and along the crack as best we can. These holes are small enough that they're not structurally going to cause a problem. They will be filled with glue, so that will dry in there. All right, so I have a very small amount of water in here, just a little bit. I'm going to put a bunch of glue in here. I'm mixing water and glue water tends to go a long way in watering down the glue so definitely want more glue than water but a little bit of water to help it sort of seep its way into the crack I don't want to make this super super thin like normally if I'm trying to get into a small crack I'll make it thin and then put a heavier glue behind it but since I'm going to be injecting this and forcing the glue in there I want to make sure it gets in there, but at the same time, I want to make sure it's thick enough to where it will bond strong. The more you water down glue, the less chance there is for it to bond. So I have this little injector right here. So let's go ahead and fill this up and see if we can get it to stay in here. Okay. Now we're going to try to force this glue down into the cracks, down into those holes we drilled. Wish I had a smaller syringe. <laughs> All right, I'm going to clean up the excess. Okay, so what we've done, we've got some glue up inside where the crack is, the whole way it runs down. We've got this little divider area here at the edge of the pickup. We've got that glued back in place. And using a lighter clamping pressure, um, we're going to let this set up for as long as, you know, uh, maybe maybe 12 hours. This, is, this glue says it sets in 6, so we'll leave it for 12. And then take those off. And what we're doing is just stabilizing it to make sure it doesn't get any worse. And one day, if I feel like taking on a big project, I'll strip the guitar down. We'll get a wedge in there. We'll snap that crack back, get it as far as we can get it without destroying the body, and, and really get some glue in there, get it all done right and repainted. But this is basically it. It's basically all I'm going to do. Um, if I decide to make a wedge to smooth this out, do it right, I'll uh, do a separate video on that. And later on, you'll see this guitar on the channel I'll put back together. You know, if you're going to take this on, on your own guitar, be very careful. Uh, know the depth of how far you're drilling. Use a depth stop if you're kind of worried about it. This is a simple way, like if you're out on tour or you're gigging or something and you need to get your guitar stabilized because you cracked it the night before or something, this is just an easy way to do it. I think this is a really cool guitar. It'll be fun to play with. I don't know exactly what to do with it. Like I said, I got it sort of in a trade. So it's an Ibanez Xyphos XPT something, I think. So, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool little instrument. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm hopefully going to get my life together here soon so I can get some more videos out. Uh, it's just been crazy. But thanks, guys. I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.